Welcome to this hands-on video on how you can connect Cloud Pack for Business Automation with Cloud Pack for Data. And this is based on a sample that comes as part of Automation Decision Services, also known as ADS, in Cloud Pack for Business Automation. This sample contains a PMML model, shown on the left, that we are going to import first in Cloud Pack for Data using a Watson Studio project. We're going to promote this uh, PMML model to, through a deployment space and deploy it and watch some machine learning. Once this is done, we're going to move over to the ADS side, where we're going to create an, a new ML provider using the URL, the API key, and the space ID of the Watson machine learning instance. Finally, we are going to pick up the PML model and connect it to a predictive model that comes with the ADS project shown on the ADS side again. So that's the flow of today's video. And as I said, we're going to start in IBM Cloud Pack for data. Logging in in IBM Cloud Pack for data, we are going to create a new project. We're going to give it a name, ML Start. And once that is done, we're going to add the PML model from the sample in ADS to this Watson Studio project. And we are going to give it a name. And we're going to import it. Once imported, we can um, promote it to a deployment space. Again, we didn't have a deployment space, so we're creating a new one called ML Start Space. And we're going to connect this space to an already existing Watson Machine Learning service. Once the space is created and connected, we are going to promote the uh, PML model from the studio to this deployment space. And once this promotion is done, we can look at the model in the space and we can deploy it to the WML instance as an online scoring service. We're giving it a name, Lone Risk Score in WML, and that's it. You can now see that we have the Lone Risk Score deployed, uh, or it's in progress of being deployed in Watson ML. And we can also do a little test here. So we're actually going to test this um, WML model by giving it a set of input value. In this case, it's a loan risk scoring model. So we're going to give it credit score, income, loan amount, etc. And using this, these example values, we are going to uh, do a test invocation. So first we're going to enter the values and then we are going to add this data record to the list. And once this is done, we're going to get a prediction and make sure it works. Once this test invocation in WML is done, actually, before we leave WML, I'm going to show a couple of the values we need to copy on later on. So the URL to WML is one thing we're going to copy. And we are also going to need the ID of the deployment space. And the third thing we're going to need on the ADS side is the IAM key, the API key, the credentials for this WML instance. And that we create again. Uh, we do that by creating a key in WML. We then call this key WML sample, sorry, ML sample. It doesn't really matter what this name is, can be anything. And we're going to create and copy this key. Now we're done on the Cloud Pack for Data side, and we're going to move over to Cloud Pack for Business Automation. More specifically, we are going to do a decision automation. So we're creating a new project in Cloud Pack for Business Automation called Decision. This ML Start project is empty initially. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the sample already provided in ADS, and this is the ML Learning Short Sample. This sample contains a project called ML Loan Approval, ML based loan approval, which has uh, a predefined predictive model. However, this is what we're going to connect 
our ML model in WML tool, but we need an ML provider on the ADS side. So we're going to create one from scratch. It's called ML Start Provider. We have the API key we copied. We're also going to copy the space ID from WML. And finally, we're going to jump back and copy the URL that we also need to identify this particular WML instance. And as shown before, that is the first part of the URL in the WL screen. So now we have the API key, space ID, and the URL, and we're gonna test the connection to WML, which is working fine. Once saved, we can now go back to our predictive model uh, called loan risk score. And in this predictive model, we can now, again, try and connect uh, to the ML model in WML. So now we have a provider select and we can see the models and deployments available. We can get the input schema. We can do a test invocation and we can get the output schema from the payload of the test invocation. And we can apply all that and now establishing the connection between this predictive model in ADS to the ML model in WML. We can also do a test invocation here from the predictive model. A couple of different test records to see that it all works fine. And finally, we can jump up to the top level in the project and go into the entire decision model where this predictive model is used. And we can do a test invocation using both the business rules and the ML model. Uh, and we can again test a couple of records to make sure that we see that the ML model is behaving the way we want it to. So in this case, we can see we're getting a, a loan approval. We can see the details of how the scoring model was in, involved. And that's it. So that was a short version of how Cloud Pack for Business Automation can be connected to Cloud Pack for Data. Thank you very much.